All right, today we're gonna to show you how to clean your muzzle loader so that it's ready to go for next season. Now, you only need a few simple things. One of them is a bucket, some hot water, and some dish soap. Um, you also need, okay, you'll need some paper towels or shop rags to wipe your gun down with. You'll need some patches and you'll need a jag for the end of your ramrod. That's what uh, allows you to retrieve the patches you throw down through the barrel. Um, a flat screwdriver, an old paint brush is helpful just to kind of get in the hard to get to places and brush out some of that black powder. Um, as far as cleaning supplies, you need some bore cleaner, some uh, white lithium grease, and the old trusty WD-40. And that's all you need. We'll show you how to do it. I think I hit it. You think? Yeah. It's a good shot. Yeah. That's that's good. That's dead deer. Dead deer. I have hot water right now. Hot Daddy. water. Hot water. Want soapy water. So now I'm going to take the barrel off of here. There we go. Me and Kevin thought it would be a good idea to make a video about how to clean your flint lock. I remember you've shown at least a couple of people. I remember Wes Newman being over here. Mm -hmm. Did you have Chase over here too? Or something? Yeah, I think. Same thing. Eight. And that's it? Yeah. This will work. That's your touch hole. Yep. Yeah, this is yeah. this will work. I think. Yeah, they're low. They're tough. Mm -hmm. Try not to strip it. Yeah, it gets pretty tight in there, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> There's a little touch hole. Yeah. Yo, that one, that one, and dump them all Put in. Put them all in the bucket. In the hot. sharpen his knife while he's down here. Apparently. Here, you want to just put it on the end there, and then I'll run it through. There's in the water. Yep. Yeah. Here, bubbling. Oh man, it's tight now. Well, that was a bad thing that I wanted to show and I wanted to, couldn't remember. Right there. When you go like this, you get down a little bit, take, take back, back up. up, the water will come right up. 
that little bit, back and forth, yep, back and forth. And it'll come right up. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Look at that. And so just use it here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you wet these any marks? Yeah, 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 yep, I was. Yep. Haven't done anything for a long time. <laughs> and a little bit and back up. Yep, there you go. And it'll it'll that water will just keep going up to keep everything clean. You got one more cut there. Just run that through too. If you do, if you do clean it. And then you see it how it yeah. won't it won't, won't work already. It all won't come off and won't won't shoot. There'll be all kinds of uh, It'll rust. Rust away. Yeah. It'll just corrode the whole yeah. the way through your barrel. That one pretty clean. Yep. Yeah. Now we've got a dry rack. Now you just run a couple through to dry the barrel out before you start. Yeah. How squeaky clean that thing looks now compared to what it was. It's actually got some shine to it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a white, white lithium, lithium grease. Yeah. And then it'll be like a new one. I can't believe how clean it looks just from sitting mm. in the water and then wiping it a little bit. Yeah. There's that. There's that.
lather it up. Gonna look like a brand new muzzle yep. when we're done, isn't it? Yep. Oh yeah. And that's a wrap. That's how you clean your your flintlock for deep storage. Now next season we'll get this baby out and it'll be ready to go. Okay. Hold it like this, Daddy. Yeah, there you go. And there it is, the after all that cleaning. Perfect. Thing of beauty. Yep. Free range outdoors. Signing off.